The college major you choose and the career that it leads to is going to have a massive impact on your financial health. And your financial health impacts literally every other area of your life, like your physical health, your mental health, and your relationships. In fact, you've probably seen all the studies and articles that show that financial problems are the number one reason for divorce. And I would have to agree with this from personal experience is this was probably the reason that my parents got divorced when I was young. And through a series of unfortunate events, I kind of went down a wild path where I ended up homeless and I got in a lot of trouble. And thinking back on it, financial issues were one of the reasons why I had such a rough childhood. And now I am in a great place. I can honestly say that I live my version of a 10 out of 10 lifestyle where I get to work remote and travel the world. And I can tell you from my own personal experience, as somebody who's been down bad, right? Like the lowest of the low, at least in the United States, to now being in the top 99% of earners. And you know, I could actually retire in my 20s if I wanted to. I don't want to retire, but I could. And I can honestly say that people that say money doesn't matter are absolutely delusional. Money does matter and study after study after study shows this. We know that money does make you happier, at least up to a point. And we also know that not having money makes you more unhappy, AKA more stressed and depressed. And the way that I was able to get myself out of that down bad type situation to the point where I'm at right now is because I went where the opportunity is, right? So go where the opportunity is, is the slogan of this channel. And you can do this as well, which I'll show you how to do in this video. And whether you agree with the current you know, financial system or not, because trust me, there's a lot of problems with this financial system. It's important to make practical decisions and control what you can. And that means it's important to consider money when it comes to choosing your college degree or your career, especially if you're planning on taking out a bunch of student loans in order to go. And choosing the right degree and really choosing the right career because you should begin with the career in mind when you're deciding which degree to choose is going to put you ahead of like at least 95% of other people and probably 99% of other people who are your age. So if you really pay attention to the options I give in this video, as well as the advice that goes along with it, you are going to have an unfair advantage over just about anybody else who is your age. All right, so we are gonna go over what college degrees create the most millionaires, but on top of that, I'm gonna be talking about why those college degrees create the most millionaires. So if you appreciate me doing videos like this, go ahead, gently tap that like button and let's get into it. It. Number 13 on the list is going to be medicine. And this is actually what I did. And I believe that it's a mediocre to good way of getting rich. Now, why do I say it's mediocre? Well, because obviously it's number 13 on the list and not like number three. Now, I think they actually bunched together medical doctor with a lot of other medical related careers. But the process of becoming a doctor is really hard. And being a doctor is even harder. And I've made entire videos on reasons that you shouldn't become a doctor. So you can definitely check that out. I'm not going to go into too much detail in this video. But basically, uh, when you're a doctor, it's extremely stressful. They have some of the highest stress rates. They have some of the lowest job satisfaction. And on top of that, unfortunately, they have some of the highest self deletion rates. And for most people, I actually recommend looking into some of the other medical related careers that don't take as much time, effort or money to get into. And they're also not as stressful, like PA nurse practitioner and pharmacist, for instance. But even with those, it can be extremely stressful. I mean, I think we all saw how the uh, government handled the whole <coughs> cough, cough situation. Because as we all saw, they did a great job. <clears throat> now, the upside here is if you work in medicine, which I'm referring specifically to like an MD or a DO, that's medical doctor or doctor of osteopathic medicine, you are going to make really, really good money. And that's why you do see it on the list. But with that being said, you're probably going to be old by the time you have enough money to actually enjoy it. And you are going to be either in medical school, which is extremely stressful or doing residency, which is probably even more stressful during the best years of your life. And then when you finally become a fully fledged doctor in your 30s or even 40s, in some cases, you're gonna have to pay off a bunch of student loan debt. So this can be a great choice, but I think it's a little bit overrated, like the way the media hypes the career up. I think it's super overrated. There's way too many people trying to go into this and they're doing it for the wrong reasons. A lot of the time because their parents want them to, or they think society is gonna you know, see them a certain way or something like that. And you guys are probably wondering why I spend so much time like autistically researching this stuff. And that's because if you get this right, uh, it's gonna absolutely change your life. Most people choose the wrong 
career three or four times before they find the right one. And this affects literally every area of their life, not just their finances, but their relationships, their mental health, their physical health, etc. And being able to help people figure this out at a young age without having to go to college and spend like $100,000 makes me incredibly happy and fulfilled. And that's what keeps me going, seeing all the positive comments, jumping on calls with people, doing interviews with them. It really is fulfilling, but I digress. Let's go ahead and jump into number 12, which is mathematics. So Galileo said mathematics is the language in which God has written the universe. And the president of the free world, Joe Biden said, it cost about $740 million billion over 10 years. What? I think you get the point. Math is hard, even for presidents. But if you happen to be one of those rare gigabrains who is both good at math and you enjoy it, then you will probably never go without a job. And this can be a good degree for you to get. So for instance, one of the most famous hedge fund managers in the world, Jim Simons, was actually a mathematician. So he figured out how to use mathematics in order to basically predict the markets in the real world. And he makes literally billions of dollars a year. So he is probably going to have like $100 billion if he wants to. So yeah, if you are one of those rare people who is good at math and you actually enjoy it, there are many practical applications to it in the real world. So I'm not surprised to see this one on the list. Number 11 is going to be management. Now, this is going to be the first of many business degrees that you're going to see on this list. And I think there are many reasons that business degrees dominate. And I think one of the main ones is the fastest way to become a millionaire is to start a business. Now, it's definitely not impossible to become a millionaire without starting a business. You can definitely do it by investing, getting a good job, etc. But typically, those are the types of people who become millionaires when they're too old to enjoy the money. Now, there are definitely exceptions to this because there's some jobs that are just so high paying, so in demand that you can actually become a millionaire at a young age. Number 10 on the list is going to be political science. And one of the best ways to get rich if you have no empathy, ethics, or moral compass is to become a politician. Oh my, oh my. Or if you can't become a politician, just invest in the same stocks as Nancy Pelosi and you'll probably be pretty well off. But it's not just Nancy Pelosi, nope. Over half the members of the US Congress on both sides of the aisle are millionaires. So the people who are representing the interests of common people tend to be people who have way more money than common people and so therefore can't really relate to us. But all joking aside, uh, understanding politics, understanding kind of how countries run, how the world works, is going to help you in life, whether it is getting a good job, whether it is learning how to save your money, whether it is learning how to invest your money, or maybe possibly learning where there are good business opportunities. So the government, for instance, actually spends more money than any other entity in the entire world. And so one thing I have talked about before on this channel is getting grants and government contracts. So if you start a business where you secure government contracts, that can be really good money. And kind of understanding how the political system works and how the government it works is going to help you do that. Number nine on the list is finance. And do you want to make an ungodly amount of money without actually contributing any value to the world? Then a finance degree might be perfect for you. Just kidding, there are some types of finance that are important and necessary in society. But one thing I will say about this is that it is highly competitive, right? If you go into some of these finance roles, yes, they do pay really good money, but they also are going to make you work long hours and it's kind of boring, repetitive work a lot of the time. And it's highly competitive. If you're not hitting your numbers, you're probably gonna get fired. So this can be a great option for people who are kind of like type A personalities and just love working long hours. And I would say not only is finance one of the best degrees to become a millionaire, but it's probably one of the best degrees to become a billionaire as well. But with that being said, be careful what you get yourself into. Now, obviously this one is going to probably help you when it comes to investments as well. You're probably going to be really good at budgeting, saving, and investing your money. And on top of that, it does tend to lead to higher paying jobs. And a third thing is there's a lot of opportunities to start businesses within the finance industry. I would say it's probably the industry that has the second or third most opportunity. So this one can be really great. Number eight on the list is going to be computer science. And I think everybody who watches this channel knows this is a great degree. You know, if you get this degree, you might be able to create the next social media app that ruins an entire generation's attention span like TikTok. Or maybe you can create the next piece of software that steals people's data and gets away with it. Just kidding. There's a ton of great things that software developers 
obviously do. But yeah, getting a job as a software developer in the technology industry is basically like cashing in a golden ticket to success. And with a computer science degree, not only can you make a ton of money in a job, but on top of that, you're going to be in the technology industry where there is a ton of opportunity to start a business. And software development is one of the few skills where it has almost infinite leverage, right? You can create a computer program, a website, a piece of software where you can actually impact millions of people's lives, right? One single person can create a website that millions of people visit. One single person can create a piece of software that millions of people can use. There's really only a few skills out there that give you that much leverage. So this is truly one of the most valuable skills that you could possibly learn. Next on the list, number seven is going to be an accounting degree. Yes, another business degree. And surprisingly enough, it actually comes ahead of finance, which probably surprises a lot of people out there. And accounting is not only a very solid career, but it is going to teach you the fundamentals of personal finance as well. If you're an accountant, obviously, you know the ins and outs of a business. So you're going to know the ins and outs of your personal finance. And on top of that, there are a lot of high level careers you can go into such as financial controller. I actually interviewed Bill Hanna on this channel, I believe he makes somewhere around 250 to $300,000. And he got an accounting degree. Plus, if you work in something like tax accounting, you're going to see a million examples of different businesses that are successful and that's going to give you a good idea of what types of businesses you could start to also be successful, right? If you see a bunch of people from certain types of businesses who are barely getting by, they're struggling. And then you see a bunch of people from other types of businesses that are absolutely crushing it every single year, making like double the amount of money, you probably know where the opportunity is. So yeah, accounting degrees give you an advantage in so many different ways. Number six on the list is going to be commerce. And this can be called different things depending on the country that you live in. But essentially, it's how trade works on a global level. And yes, this is a another business degree. So no surprise to see this one here. Business degrees tend to lead to relatively high paying jobs. The statistics are very good for business degrees. On top of that, people who get business degrees tend to be better with money, things like saving money, right? And investing money. And number three, they're probably better when it comes to what to invest their money in. And then number four, people who get business degrees are more likely to be successful if they actually start their own business. Number five on the list is going to be a bachelor's of business administration. Now, this is, of course, another business degree. No surprise to see it here. Now, one thing I will say about these business degrees is you do have to consider correlation versus causation. And what I mean by that is, are people who are interested in business degrees more likely to be successful? Or is the business degree itself more likely to lead to people being successful? And the truth is, you can never say for sure which one it is, but it's probably a little bit of both. Now, I will say this data is from like the last 80 years, obviously, of people who have become millionaires. And I do not recommend getting a bachelor in business administration right now. I would actually say it's much smarter to get a more specialized business degree. Number four on the list is going to be a law degree. And lawyers are slightly better than politicians, but not by much. Now, of course, there's a ton of great lawyers out there, but any lawyer who's being honest will tell you there are a bunch of sharks in the profession. Like actually, you know, I had a patient before who I'd see like, you know, maybe once a month or so. And every single time I saw him, he'd tell me a new lawyer joke and he would actually warn me to not trust lawyers in my life, which I thought was kind of funny. Now, that being said, it's kind of not fair to put this one on the list because it is technically a doctorate level degree, whereas almost all the other ones on the list are bachelor level degrees. And also lawyer is one of those professions that's extremely stressful, kind of like doctor. In fact, I'd say it's even worse. So I made an entire video about why you should not become a lawyer as well. And you can check that out. Number three on the list is going to be economics. And this is one that you can get at the bachelor's level. You can also get a master or a doctorate level degree if you want to become an economist. This is one that a ton of famous people have gotten for some reason, like former presidents Ronald Reagan, George H.W. Bush, Donald Trump, as well as investing legend Warren Buffett. So it's no surprise to see this one at number three on the list. And it's also technically a social science degree. Now, there is a part of economics where they use things like facts, logic, it's an actual science. And then there's the other faction of economics where they basically use idealistic, woo-woo, wishy-washy bull logic in order to justify whatever they believe in. And it's usually involving things like printing trillions of dollars or giving people who are already really powerful 
even more power. But I digress. Economics is very similar to a business degree, but I think it sort of studies the economy on more of a holistic level. And so obviously, if you're studying the economy, you're going to kind of see like, oh, what industries are absolutely crushing it. And then when you look into that a little bit more, you'll probably see what types of businesses are crushing it. And so that's going to give you an advantage if you want to either go work for those businesses or you want to start your own business. And then of course, economics does tend to lead to relatively high paying jobs. For instance, you might work in finance and there's a lot of high paying jobs there. And understanding economics is going to lead to you asking questions like, why the is the government printing trillions of dollars and then sending it to other countries? Just kidding, nothing to see here, move along. Number two is going to be a master's in business administration or MBA. Now this is another one where it is not a bachelor's level degree, it is a master's level degree. And it's also a business degree, so not surprising to see more business degrees on this list. Now this is one where it's extremely hit or miss because if you go to the right school and get an MBA from that school, I do think it can be worth it. It can open up doors for you that you wouldn't have access to otherwise. So it can be great for networking, for instance, if you go to Harvard, Stanford, Wharton. But if you get one of those MBAs that's basically like a Cracker Jack box MBA, which I almost got myself, that's probably not gonna be worth it. So when I was going to school for pharmacy, I had the option to actually double major and get my PharmD, which is a doctorate level degree, and my MBA at the same time. And at first I was like, oh my God, that's awesome. And so I decided to actually take my summers, my little bit of free time that I had in my accelerated program to do this MBA course. And I quickly realized that the people who were teaching the MBA course had zero business knowledge or experience. And by that time, I had actually started two successful businesses. I wasn't making like crazy money, but I had started two successful businesses. One of them was selling eyeglass cleaner and the other one was a consulting business related to pharmacy. And I realized that even though I didn't know much about business, I knew more than the professors who probably only did business like 20 or 30 years ago, if at all, and they were teaching me. So they were basically just teaching theoretical wishy-washy stuff that didn't actually work when you try to apply it in the real world. So if you go to the right school and get an MBA degree, yes, you can network. Yes, it's going to open doors for you. You can get great jobs, but I typically do not recommend getting an MBA degree unless you really have researched it. Number one on the list is going to be engineering. And one thing I will say about this, I'm not surprised to see engineering here because you do make more money over a lifetime uh, with an engineering degree than any other type of degree out there. But one thing I will say is I'm a little bit surprised they didn't separate out the engineering degrees like they did with the business degrees because you make a lot more money as an electrical engineer or a chemical engineer than you do as a civil engineer, for example. But yeah, lots of former grads that are billionaires like Jeff Bezos, Neil Armstrong, model Cindy Crawford, Bill Nye the Science Guy, and even Ashton Kutcher. So you see engineers representing in just about every industry out there. Now, funny enough, not only are you more likely to become a million if you're an engineer, but you're also more likely to become a CEO of a Fortune 500 company, and you're more likely to become a billionaire. So engineering degrees absolutely dominate these types of lists. Now you could argue, is it correlation or causation? You know, really smart people who are able to do engineering, maybe they would have been successful even if they did something else. Again, I think it's a little bit of both. But with that being said, engineering teaches you practical problem solving which is what entrepreneurship is all about. As an entrepreneur, you go out there, you find problems that a bunch of people are having, and then you solve those problems in the form of a product or a service. Now, if you're in a situation where you're confused about what degree you should choose, I actually made an entire video that's dedicated to showing you exactly the steps that you should follow in order to choose your dream degree. And you can check that video out right here.